Hi everyone. I got a couple of messages uh, explaining these tips and tricks. And somebody asked me about this. It comes in many kits. I, I had three or four of them, but I've used them and I've messed a couple up. So I do have one. And you can see that it has a has a big it's just a big hole really and the way you use them and you can use these almost anywhere and, and it depends on what you what you're using sometimes my little flexible needles don't work and I pull this thing out if my needles don't work I'll pull this thing out because it it works good now I've got this piece of wire sitting up here and as it would look as it's coming up the boom and you're, you're going to run your first one. All it does, I'm going to run it through this one because there's two wire guides here that you got to go through. And there's one in the back. Not, a, not really a wire guide, but there's a little thing right back here, a shaft. And you got to work around all of these. So this thing basically just set it on a on the spool that you're gonna that you're gonna reeve stick it through both of these stick your wire through the big hole and pull it right through now at this point you would run this on your spool like that and then tension it like I showed like I showed in my other videos Keeping this tension will keep it on here. As soon as you let it go and start messing around, it'll flop off that pulley for sure. Now you can, like I said, use this almost anywhere and in any direction. For coming back up through here, see if I can get this thing in there. Nah, it might be a little tough. But if, even if you're going this way, Stick that through there like that and pull your wire right through. Now these can be easy enough that you don't use, you don't need this thing, but anywhere that you can't get that flexible needle, this thing works really, really good for that. Now I'm going to pull this up here for a second because this, uh, the 650 has got a real good example of where you may use it there and you may not so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this thing up real quick here now if you can't get it through here because you're coming up the up the boom and around this just slips right in there like that. I don't know. I'm gonna, let me do it at the end here so you can see it a little more clearly. Well, there's not much there. That would be too easy to do. This would come up right through here. Slip your little wire in. And pull it through. Now all you got to do is put it on your whichever spool you're working on. Because sometimes it does not stay on the spool or sheave that you're running this thing through. Set it on your spool. Put your little weight on it. Even if it's a paper clip. Even that might work. Now, I did get asked about floppy pulleys. Now, I'm going to run this over here now. Because this seems to be the best thing to show this on. Because none of the other pulleys on these other models are that bad. But this, uh, this 8800. Let me get in on it a little closer. There we go. You can see here that there's a pretty good gap right here. 
And if I pull these over, you can see how big of a gap it, it is. It's pretty good size. And when you start to run your wire through there, if it jumps off that pulley, and especially on this because it has no bottom, no open in the bottom, especially this kind of hook, it ends up catching on the, the shaft that the sheaves are on because it'll jump off that pulley and then you can't get it back on your sheave. So any floppy pulley, just take a little piece of paper like that. I just fold it up until it's thick enough to fit inside of here, which that might be too much. Yeah. Just to show you, take and cut this down to size and then stick it in here. whichever side you're doing. This all depends on which side you're doing. And it'll push these other sheaves up against this side. And when you go to run your wire in there, it, it, it stays on the pulley better because it's up against the side of the, the edge. And when you're gonna do the other one, I just pushed it over like that, stuffed it in there. And now you can see the pulley is pushed up against this side. So now when you push it in on this side, it's pushing against the side of the block. And it tended to stay on the pulley a lot better. I found that helped a lot. Uh, any other pulleys that you got that flop, just stick this in one, one side if you can. There were only three sheaves in here and I had to move it over to this one and I had to do these this these here the same way because they were there they were all kind of floppy <clears throat> if, if they're all on one shaft you can put push them over and, and they would stay now one thing I did say the other day I gotta I gotta straighten out something I said and this is the this is this is the model I used and I said when you're reeving to set stuff up so it stays. And I said we'll wrap this around here and tie it here. But <laughs> I think everybody knows that is all wrong. It's wrap it around in here. Like this. And then around here. Now I go through these because this won't hold it, so I'll run through the, the, the lattice in here. I, I hope I'm not in the way. I'll run it through the lattice. And once this is tight, it, it'll hold your bridle where, wherever you have it set. And, 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 and then you can just start reeving. And, and as you reeve and you put your tension on it, this, this will tighten it up and straighten it up a little bit. It works real good for me. And, and like I said, I've used a rubber band. Maybe I can get it on this side. Yeah, well, until it pulls it. Actually, I think I... Could have done it here if I wanted. I usually get something a little tighter. But you get the idea. Now once you've got this thing pulled like that and tied tightly and, and run it to make sure it's run on both sides. If you just tie off one side, it'll jerk that thing off to the side. But basically that's the idea. Um, as far as luffing arms... Sometimes I'll stick a big fat piece of foam in here to keep to keep it from flopping and then tie it off, tie through here and just tie it like this so that it doesn't flop either way and the foam here will hold it and it, it just it just does make it a little bit easier. Uh, different models take different things. 
So I try to give as many ideas as possible. I had a lot of models with floppy spools. The Cenobogan was one of them. Um, actually, all of these up here just flop all over. And since you're not doing very much on it, I, I didn't have to worry about them. Same with these on this 1280. Um, sometimes these uh, A-arms have a little gap in them. Anywhere where I have that gap, I will stuff that paper in. I can't remember which one it was I did it to. So I'm sorry. But suffice it to say that if, this, if these pulleys have any play in them and flop at all, stick a little piece of paper in, in to push them over. And it'll make it a lot easier. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, uh, let's hope that did the deal for you. Again, my favorite tool for doing this is my uh, flexible needle. These flexible needles that I showed in the other video, these things are killer. They, they, just, they just work everywhere. And especially through stuff like this. Because they'll bend a little bit. So when you push this thing through here. You can see that going went right under both of them. Easily. And, and, and being flexible if it runs into something. You can just pull it aside and get it past a piece of lattice or whatever is in the way. Alright you guys. Uh, any any other questions, throw it in the comment section. I've been real good about answering them. I'll make you videos to clarify or show anything. I'm always ready to help. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good day. Stay safe.